You ever feel like you're being watched? Maybe you're paranoid. Or maybe an unseen, unmanned aircraft is flying high overhead and spying on your every move. And with the push of a button, can deliver enough explosives to wipe you from the face of the planet. That's just what the Predator does. It's a stealth weapon without peer. In military jargon, it's an unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV. Originally designed for spy missions, UAVs can now seek and destroy their targets, while the pilots stay safely on the ground hundreds or even thousands of miles away. No UAV has racked up more hours of successful combat service than the Predator. I know that some operations just don't happen unless Predator is flying above them. This footage of actual airstrikes in Afghanistan and Iraq shows the lethal effects of these sinister assassins. Even in densely populated urban areas, they can pinpoint targets as small as a single vehicle. The enemy doesn't know when the next shot is coming. They don't, they don't even know when the first shot is coming. Once you're on our screen, you're not going anywhere. The Predator is reported to have taken out Al-Qaeda's second and third in command in separate operations in Pakistan. To get a closer look at this hunter killer in the sky, I'm on my way to an isolated airfield in the Mojave Desert east of Los Angeles. I'm out here under a clear blue sky in the middle of nowhere, miles from anything, with nothing but heat, rocks, and rattlers to keep me company. And yet I have this eerie, unsettling feeling that the people I'm supposed to meet are watching me right now. Also arriving at the airfield is the man behind the company that pioneered the Predator, Thomas J. Cassidy, a retired rear admiral and former fighter pilot with 34 years in active military service. Now in his 70s, Tom still insists on piloting the company plane himself. It was his maverick leadership style that pushed the system from prototype to practical weapon in just six months. A lot of the fellows that got pulled out of F-15s and C-130s to fly these things were not <laughs> thrilled about it. But once they started shooting and seeing what these airplanes can do, they got pretty enthused about it. UAVs already existed. Why the Predator? What makes the Predator so special? Well, when we first got in this business, there were UAVs. The government had spent quite a bit of money on them. And uh, most of them were small model airplane type systems. These airplanes really were tethered to this line of sight data link that was only good for about 150 miles. So what we wanted to do was make real airplanes out of them. There isn't anything that isn't needed. It's, uh, it's so streamlined, it's so clean. It's, 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 a, it's like a work of art to me. Yeah. This one carries 4,000 pounds of fuel. The wings are full of fuel, the fuselage is full. It flies over 30 hours, goes over 50,000 feet, and will carry 3,000 pounds of weapons. It can sure carry a massive payload, but the stripped-down Predator weighs just over 1,000 pounds. That's 1 20th the weight of an F-16 fighter plane. And because it's so light, it burns less fuel, giving it greater endurance. You don't need an F-16 flying around the periphery of a country when you can put these things up. You go up and you dwell and you throttle back and you spend a lot of time at low speed, just endurance. It's an in-atmosphere satellite. The original Predator A was intended for spy missions only, but equipping it with Hellfire missiles proved so successful that a whole new generation of aircraft was born. The larger Predator B flies higher, further, and longer, and carries a weapons payload of up to 3,000 pounds. Their small size, low speed, and high altitude make them virtually impossible to see or hear from the ground. Their carbon composite body makes them almost invisible to radar. Predator A operating at 15 to 20,000 foot altitude, 
very hard to see. I mean, if you don't know it's there, somebody didn't tell you it was there, you won't see it. Uh, Predator B, uh, its best cruise area is above 30,000 feet. You don't see it either. What happens if you lose uh, a satellite signal with the aircraft? Well, we, you can pre-program your what we call emergency mission. So if you lose your link with the airplane, it will automatically come home, basically. So you can wait five, six, seven, eight hours later, and it shows up at your airport, and you grab it line of sight and land it. And just because the Predator can't be seen from the ground, don't think it can't see you. What really gives the Predator its edge is its amazing combination of sensors and firepower. This unique versatility is what makes it the deadly spy in the sky that it truly is. Inside the uh, cutaway here is where the radar, the Lynxar GMTI radar sits. The radar is all weather, we can penetrate through clouds, can see at night, and the way that we use the radar is it sees broad area, long distances, and we use that for detection and location of potential targets or surveillance. So you can fly over an area, come back the next day, maybe where drug runners are running through, fly that area again, and it'll overlay the two images and tell you if there's footprints on the ground. Are you serious? So you can tell if anybody's walked through that area in the last 24 hours. Underneath the Predator is the combined optical and infrared sensor, 360 degrees of high precision camera power for pinpoint accuracy. We would use that to identify uh, a point of interest on the ground that the radar has previously identified. But where it really helps you is with vehicles. Uh, you can tell a tank from a truck. You can see if there's people in the back of the truck. And you can see if they're carrying uh, weapons. And information can be fed anywhere, even to the White House. The streaming video, it can be distributed any place. It can be on the president's desk or the secretary of defense's desk on a TV screen. It can be delivered to a small little uh, television receiver to a special ops guy riding a horse through Afghanistan. It's amazing. It can go any place. When the decision was made to put weapons on the spy plane, the predator blossomed into a sinister assassin in the sky. Before the predator had the missiles on it, when they would locate targets and then they have to wait for a manned airplane to come in and shoot the target. Mm -hmm. Once the Predator had missiles on it, then a lot less targets got away because you could see it, get clearance to shoot and shoot. The crew at the ground control station make life and death decisions by watching a TV screen, often hundreds of miles away. It may look like a video game, but this is no child's play. When you're on a strike mission, it definitely, there's no game feeling to it, you know what I mean? There might be casualties down there, it's definitely, it's one shot, you may have one shot, one kill for this thing to take care of the situation, so you definitely tense up. You see the mood comes a lot more serious, Everything, everyone's focused, there's no joking around, no banter, only mission-specific information is getting related at that time. Even though you might be a thousand miles away, you feel like you have a hand in the fight that's going on right then and there. When we first deployed to the Balkans, uh, I was in a ground station one day and a Predator pilot was being shot at. The airplane was being shot at. The pilot was hundreds of miles away. But every time the Black Puff went off, he ducked. <laughs> and he was like 800 miles away from the Black Puff. There is definitely a psychological advantage of having the Predator in a field of battle, isn't there? Oh, it's a big advantage. That level of fear that you put into them to let them know that at any time, you know what I mean, you can be right on top of that target, be stay on top of that target for as much as possible. It has to probably drive them crazy to not know exactly what's going on. Coming up, to find out what it's like to be tracked by an unseen assassin, I've agreed to play cat and mouse with the predator. It's the hunter and I'm the prey.